Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video we'll take a look at the history of Unimatrix Zero. This will be part two of our three-part series. If you haven't watched part one yet, please do that now. So in part one we discussed what Unimatrix Zero was, how drones entered it, and which drones were capable of entering it. In part two we'll cover what the Borg Queen knew about Unimatrix Zero, the creation of the nanovirus, and how Captain Janeway helped to deploy this nanovirus despite the Borg Queen's warning not to do so. So let's go ahead and get started. Unimatrix Zero was undetected by the Borg Collective until 2376. In this year the Borg Queen found their interlink frequency. Although the Collective could detect the drones with the genetic mutation, which they saw as an illness, their method was slow and would take centuries to find every drone with the mutation. By examining the cortical array of drones with the genetic mutation, the Queen found their interlink carrier ban, at which time she was able to send Borg drones into Unimatrix Zero in order to attack its occupants. In the following year, Axum, one of the drones with the mutation, called Seven of Nine back into Unimatrix Zero to help him fight the Borg. A nanovirus was devised by them which would mask the biochemical signature of the genetic mutation, making it impossible for the Borg to detect them. But they could not introduce the virus into the Collective without Seven's help. As the only member of Unimatrix Zero not part of the Collective, Seven was the only one who could retain the memory of Unimatrix Zero when she wasn't regenerating. Seven of Nine, being a member of Unimatrix Zero for almost 18 years, asked Captain Catherine Janeway for help. It was Janeway who suggested to Axum to begin a resistant movement to undermine the Borg's control over them once the mutation could no longer be detected. After Janeway agreed to help, the nanovirus Axum design was modified by the doctor so it could also nullify the cortical inhibitor so drones with the mutation would keep their memories about Unimatrix Zero while being part of the collective. Although the Borg Queen warned Janeway not to interfere and even tempted her with an offer to send the USS Voyager back to Earth, Janeway went through with her plan and after allowing herself, Tuvok, and Bielana Taurus to get partially assimilated, they succeeded in infiltrating the central plexus of the Borg Cube and releasing the nanovirus. And that, my Star Trek of friends, is part two of our three-part series discussing the history of Unimatrix Zero. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, then you'll want to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Anything less would be illogical. And remember, Star Trek is life.